The Paradise Basic VGA card from around 1990 provides VGA graphics for your 8-bit ISA bus PC. That includes IBM PC, XT, AT, PS2 models 25 and 30, and compatibles. Included among those compatibles was the Tandy 1000 TX, one of which I had way back when, and had a Paradise Basic VGA card in it. Not this particular one, but the same model. So, what do we get inside the box? Well, let's find out. Oh, let's not take everything out. There we go. We want all the good stuff. Ah, we get a five and a quarter inch floppy with some basic VGA card utilities on it. We get the VGA card itself, which we'll look at in just a moment. A very nice printed manual that goes through everything from setup, installation, <laughs> not in that order, of course, and the setting of the dip switches. A quick setup card. An FCC warning. Yet another quick install guide. In multiple languages. And best of all, we get big savings on Indiana Jones games and accessories from Lucasfilm Games. I'm thinking that these prices probably are no longer in effect, sadly. Now on to the main attraction. And there we have it, an 8-bit ISA card VGA graphics. The question, of course, is does it work? Well, there's only one way to find out. But before we do that, here's a close up. All right, it's installed in the trusty 386. Dip switches are set according to the manual. All that remains now is to connect it to a monitor and power and a keyboard and fire it up. And let's hope that fire is not the operative word. All right, we're all hooked up and ready to go. I'm not gonna yell smoke test, but if you want to, feel free. Cause here we go. Success. Let's see if we can run a test or two on it. Ah, maybe not. I thought PC Probe was on this machine, but it is obviously not. Uh, Sierra? What have we got? King's Quest 1. Whoops. Try that instead. Oh. Or maybe not. Hmm. Oh, well that one's got something in it. Let's try that. And what is it that starts it? Isn't it Sierra, usually? Uh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't have a sound card in this machine. Do that. IBM. Compatible joystick. No. No mouse. Now let's try it again. And there we go. Oh. Oh yeah. The old copy protection. Where the manual for this game is, I have no idea. But we can see that the colors do work. Yeah, sure. Where's my Super Slash? I can't find my Super Slash. Oh, there it is. Tell you what, let's put PC Probe on this and try again. Here are the results of the extended video benchmark in PC Probe. It was, took far too long to let it go on camera, but I will do the simple benchmark from PC Probe on camera. We'll do that in just a moment. All right, that was the extended video benchmark. Now let's do the simple video benchmark. There we go, 917.01 characters per millisecond. What a speed demon. Well, let's see the system speed test. There we go. And the beeping is in no way annoying. And there we have it, the Paradise Basic VGA card. A good way to work on your 8-bit computers using an LCD monitor in these days when the CGA and EGA monitors are becoming very hard to come by in operating condition. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.